Schwartz, author of Cows Save the Planet, is an amazing moderator. She has met most of these speakers before and had lengthy conversations with them. So I'm looking forward to her being able to draw out of them how we can put the whole story together. My name is Judy Schwartz. I'm the author of Cows Save the Planet. I will be moderating a panel at the Urban Soil Carbon Water Summit in February, and I hope to see you there because you don't want to miss this. The way that our institutions are set up and the way we think about things is that desertification, biodiversity loss, and climate change are distinct, even competing problems. However, we can understand that they really are manifestations of the same problem. I have had the chance to meet Alan Savory, and actually more than meet him, I had a chance to visit him in Zimbabwe, and I saw the incredible transformation of that landscape um, in this really dry area where now there's grasses and, and animals, and including animals that are disappearing from many of the game parks in southern Africa. I'm definitely interested in meeting Kristen Olson because she and I were on the same journey or a similar journey at around the same time and kind of now we can meet up now that our books are both out and I have met Elaine Ingham and I'm always really happy to hear from her because she is so smart and just the level of her thinking is just so fabulous. And um, I'm very interested in meeting Ray Archuleta, who I have not met, and yet he is, of course, Ray the Soil Guy, and um, it'll be really great to meet him in person. I have seen some of his videos, and I'm also interested in meeting Suzanne Simard uh, because I just so like the way that she's thinking about forests. I just... And the way that she talks about forests is so exciting to me because often we think of things in a linear way and yet she is able to articulate how so much of our natural processes are systems and how so many of our this, these systems echo other systems. For example, the way that the, the network beneath the forest and how there is all this communication between all the parts of that network within the soil, and how that's an echo of the way our brain works and all these neural connections. And that also is reminiscent of our own, what goes on in our own bodies, our digestive systems. And I've heard people say that that you can think about soil as the digestive system of the plant. So all these natural processes are going on at the same time and mirror each other in so many fascinating ways. And once you see the ways that these systems mirror each other, you understand how things connect and how Climate isn't just a matter of molecules and numbers. The Natural History Museum is the perfect place for this summit because it embodies our collective knowledge about the natural world. And what we need to do is to embrace the natural world, to embrace nature as a model and as a vehicle for understanding for us to be able to get away from technology as technology and science as numbers and figures and charts, but to really look at how things work in the real world.